I have decided to change my party affiliation, joining the Republican Party, and have been welcomed with open arms by my colleagues. And I'm glad to call you all my colleagues. This now where we are, modern day Democratic Party, has become unrecognizable to me and to so many others throughout this state and this country. I will not be controlled by anyone. Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney alongside John Glasgow, Nan Hayworth, and Krisha Lenzo. So our next guest, a North Carolina Democrat jumping ship to the GOP, cementing a Republican supermajority in the state House of Representatives. She joins us now, North Carolina State Representative Trisha Cotham, along with North Carolina House Speaker Tim Moore. Welcome to Wake Up America. Trisha, I've got to ask you that obvious question. Why did you decide to flip parties? Well, you know, I have always been a legislator who is a public servant, and I believe in common sense, governing, leading, working across the aisle. But it, it's really about getting things done for the great state of North Carolina. It's about helping our children get the best education, about building our economy for everyone. And the Democratic Party has really gone in a very, very sad direction, and they're paying the consequences all over this state and all over this country. Um, but I'm not going to be controlled. I'm not going to be a puppet of the governor, of anyone. I'm a free thinker. That is not welcomed in the Democratic Party. It is not welcomed at, or encouraged, and that's unfortunate. I'm, you know, I'm here to serve people, not to just push a button that the governor says to push. So this concept of free thought is not welcomed at all. And a lot of my big views that I just mentioned are very much aligned with the Republican Party. And they have welcomed me and encouraged me and have extremely been there a lot. And the Democrats just keep viciously attacking me and my children. And um, that's below bell and wrong. But that's what it's become. Speaker, uh, Republicans now have the supermajority in the House and the Senate, able to override a veto from the Democratic Governor Roy Cooper. How significant is this for you? Well, it's very significant, and we certainly appreciate Representative Cotham's uh, courage in, in joining the Republican Party. She has just been attacked, her family attacked in so many ways. And, and, and I'll tell you what, you know, one of the reasons I would submit that she left, and that, frankly, other Democrats, I would say, are probably considering leaving as well, is is how far woke, how far to the left uh, the Democratic Party has happened. We've seen it at the national level for years, but it has finally made its way down to North Carolina, where you know there are a lot of Democratic members that I've served with for years who I would say were centrist, but who find themselves casting votes, you know, pushing a far left agenda. You would think they were legislators from San Francisco or something instead of from North Carolina. And that's why Democrats have continued to lose ground in this state and why Republicans are, are doing so well. It's not it, it's not that uh, the, a lot of those mainstream Democrats who who, are, who have been around for a while are, are, are not there. They're just getting drowned out by the far left and, and the woke crowd. And when it comes to policies, look, North Carolina is doing so well. We're one of the best states in the country for business. That's due in large part to the low regulatory, low tax environment we have. We, we've taken the monies that we have, we spend them the right ways. Uh, and we really try to focus on the issues facing you know, facing North Carolina to run the state like a business. You know, we're not beholden to these, these far left groups that are out there. And and it's just sad the state of the of where the, the our North Carolina Democratic Party is because you know you need two healthy parties to have the ideas out there. And they they've just unfortunately kind of lost their way. But you know, we're gonna keep doing the, the policies that we are, we're gonna keep moving forward. We've had what I call a governing supermajority for a while. Now it's really nice to have an outright supermajority. Yeah, great point, Krisha. I was gonna, we debated earlier today talking, not debated, but talking about your constituents and how this might affect those who may have voted for you as a Democrat. What do you say to those people who you are now a Republican? What, uh, do you have a specific message for them? Um, well, I think that's where a lot of the hypocrisy has come over in the last 24 hours since this switch has been made, where everyone, the Democrats, just make the total assumptions because I'm not in line, so it must be all the names that you can call anyone racist, I've been called sexist, everything. And, you know, I'm still me. I, I am Trisha Cotham, and I stand on my own two feet. Um, a lot of the things that I talked about in the campaign have been accomplished. This Medicaid yeah. expansion, a huge issue. We have done that, um, working to better our schools 
and our charter schools and looking at school choice. These are issues I've already talked about. So again, when you have such extremism coming in with completely different things about you, and they've canceled me. That, that's been their goal all along, and they have canceled me, and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, true, you know, true, of course, Representative Pautham was a, was a school teacher, and so it, it's been really helpful to have her perspective as we deal with educational choice. She's been a strong advocate for charter schools and making sure that when it comes to education, it's about the children, not about the bureaucracy or anything else. And she, she's able to speak to that very strongly. Yes. Tricia, uh, I, I'm a former member of Congress on the Republican side myself. I, I welcome you as well with open arms. Uh, given that you are a teacher uh, and teachers deserve our utmost respect, teachers unions, I think uh, most Republicans see them as antagonistic to uh, American families and kids and even to, to great teachers. Do you think the teachers unions are going to be responsible for a lot of the vitriol that's going to come your way? And I'm curious, uh, Mr. Speaker, how do you handle uh, Trisha's uh, transformation in terms of bringing others along? Um, well, okay, go. well, you go first. Go ahead. Um, you know, with, with the education, so we are a, a non-union state, so we have the teachers club, as some of us call. Um, I've really, I've, I've never earned their endorsement, I believe. Um, and, you know, I, I think that that is OK. They used to be a big powerhouse 20, 30 years ago when Democrats had control over everything. But um, they're going to cancel me. And that's mm. fine. Um, like the speaker said, it's about children. It's not about adults. I'm very strong on that issue. And that's how I look. I am the chair of education in the House. Um, and so one size does not fit all for all children. And I think COVID and parents really being able to see what was actually happening in class and, and not. And this is a this is a much bigger issue. This is a, a real opportunity for North Carolina yeah. and I to help lead the way. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Speaker, I'd love to get, get your point, but unfortunately we're out of time. We have to have you back because we can continue this conversation all morning long. North Carolina State Rep Trisha Cotham and House Speaker Tim Moore, thank you so much. We appreciate it.